Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of Let's Play Skyrim. Last episode we talked to pretty much everybody in Riverwood here um, and kind of got the ball rolling on a couple small quests but more importantly we are going to go look for the Golden Claw in Bleak Falls Barrow. So that's going to be our main objective today. Um, I have a feeling we might only reach Bleak Falls Barrow and we might not really delve in there because of course I keep these episodes at about a half hour um, but we'll, we'll see what we can get into um, before oh, we do that this. though that. I do want to see maybe what potions we can get um, we have 549 gold so let's go ahead and we'll just buy these. I mean, I really don't like spending my money on that kind of stuff, but I think we might have to because we're going to need um, all the potions we can get. Uh, and then I believe there is an alchemy lab in the inn because I'm pretty sure we asked to use that. So let's go ahead and see if we can craft any potions. Um, before we head on over as well. And once we do that, then we will make this our way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Objectives. There it is. So before we start, we're going to want to go ahead and eat some of our ingredients so we can discover their effects, which you probably already know, but I'm just going to reiterate that. Yeah. And then we get super messed up <laughs> and see what we can make. Alright, Alchemy Lab. You can create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients that share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients to learn their effects. Okay. So I'd really... Bring we can't make restore health. That sucks. Um, well, I don't think we're going to make anything then because I really wanted to be able to make a potion to restore health, but we don't have any ingredients to do that. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and make our way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Alright guys, so it looks like we have a bandit encampment up ahead, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can take these fellas on, and let's see, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit them from this far, but let's try! Hey, look at that, that was a nice hit. Ah, I feel like we should have gotten that one. Alright, that guy's gone, that went over his head, why am I still trying to shoot with a bow? Ooh. Oh, nice power move. That was actually lucky. All right, cool. Um, Nordmaid, Inga, Amulet, Julianos. I believe this has better armor rating. Um, so let's go ahead and take that. Is this better than our sword? No. Hide boots and iron arrow. And then let's check our friend over here. Mm, actually, no, you know what? I think the warmth rating is less. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about that. Because as we are getting up into a colder area of Skyrim, we do need to pay attention to our warmth rating. Because um, otherwise, we're going to start taking some major hits. I didn't mean to take that lantern, but okay. Sneaky snake up here. Sneaky. Wow, can we walk? Sneaky snake. Sneaky snake. Oh. Yeah, they saw us. Alright, switch to our sword. Come out. Wow, I didn't even hit you. Oh, another power attack? We're getting super lucky. <laughs> I mean, um, we're not getting lucky. I'm just a professional gamer and that's what professional gamers do they get power attacks and they have all the moves so um, take note of my mad skills I have many 
Oh gosh, why did I do that? All right, okay, cool. Um, so I believe we went ahead and took care of all of these guys. Oh hey, look, there's River One. Neat. Hi. Um, oh, here we go. You are cold, which reduces your total health, represented by a dark region in the health bar. Cold can also cause you to move more slowly, stand near a fire, or move to a warmer area to warm up. A sun or snowflake icon near the compass indicates if you are getting warmer or colder. You can slow down by how quickly you become cold by wearing armor with high warmth, eating hot soup, and holding a torch can also improve your warmth rating. Wow, okay, so being warm is actually pretty important because it impacts your health directly. Um, some of the other, you know, being tired and being hungry impact magicka and stamina, which sometimes I feel like are easy to kind of neglect, um, but we really don't want to be cold. So let's go ahead, pop over here, and I believe our, we're wearing fur boots, so that's good for warmth. That's better than the hide boots, actually. Um, and then, yeah, this is actually only better armor, but it's not better warmth, but we'll go ahead and switch to that anyways. And let's head to Bleak Falls. All right, that wasn't a very far journey, because here we have arrived to Bleak Falls Barrow. Let's see if we can get any shots off with our bow before we get spotted. I don't even think I got... I don't think I hit him. No. Hey, but at least our sneak increased. That's all that matters. Now, see, I feel like that should have for sure hit him. Okay, there we go. At least we got that one. Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh. Okay. Switch, switch. Switch, switch. Oh, and look at our health. It's very healthy. That's great. Alright, we got that guy down. Oh, hey, we got a level up, but we can't do anything about it because, oh goodness, um, let's go ahead and let's eat some soup. Don't hit me! You can't hit me! Ah, shit. You hit me really hard there. Boy, oh boy. Um, and let's actually just go ahead and take a couple of potions. I really don't like wasting potions, but... Alright, dead. Lockpick. Arrows. Please stop hitting me with your arrows. I don't want to die. Please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm paying attention. Come on. Oh, I gosh. I keep trying to bash them with my shield, like that, and I don't have the stamina because I'm not paying attention to my stamina bar. Um, it probably doesn't help that I was technically playing... <laughs> I was playing this... Uh, well, I was playing Skyrim on a different playthrough not that long ago, and my character had... Uh, gotten up to a higher level so I'm used to having better stamina than I do right now but hey here we are Bleak Falls Barrow we made it with time to spare we're actually doing pretty good so I guess we will make it into the barrow um, at least a little bit their conversation. I'm not here! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, jeez. He moved just in time. Wow, that seemed- oh, no, stop sneaking. Alright, we got him down. Come here, let's be friends! I'm just kidding, I don't want to be your friend. I don't. Nice! Alright, guys. I think we're getting the hang of this. I- definitely need to zigzag more as a um, 
Ooh, I think that has... Mm, I guess it's not a higher... It's a higher armor rating, but it's not higher... Um, oh, you know, warmth. There we go. I said it. Alright. Check you. Cool. And let's go ahead and get these skeever tails. I believe they are considered ingredients rather than food. So, yeah, we are going to want those because we might be able to make something useful with them. Let's see what's in this chest here. Hashtag mad unlocking skills. And, uh, I think we can, yeah, we can sleep on these bedrolls. So let's go ahead and do that. A, because we want to stay rested. And B, because we really want that level up. Or at least I do. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and put it into stamina so we can keep bashing people's faces in. And then this is our third uh, perk, so I think we're going to go out. We could put it into sneak, but I think we need to put it into one-handed to get our uh, one-handed weapon doing a little more damage. So there we go, we're going to do that. And we are good to go and continue on. I think we got everything here. So let us move forward, hence, hence, hence forward, hence forward. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I don't know why I check those urns because I know they're empty because I've probably played through Bleak Falls Barrel like 25 times. No, actually literally more than that. Um, but I do it every time. It's just like a bad habit. I have to make sure they didn't secretly add loot to that container since, you know, the last time I played. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I expect it to not. Okay. Wow. What is this guy doing? Who knows? We're just gonna sit and watch. Oh no! That seems like a very delayed reaction to dying, but okay. So... He pulled that and he did. So, um, okay. I mean, I know we all know what happens here, so let's just go ahead and move forward with it. Schnick. Schnack. Quail. And before we hit our lever, let's go ahead and grab a potion up here. Okay, I actually do promise though, oh, wait a minute, I promise I have not actually, I don't, I mean I've technically never finished Skyrim, to be perfectly honest, so there will be moments where I don't know what I'm doing, so, um, you know, they're not always going to be so smooth and excellent. Oh, I think that actually does more damage, so let's go ahead and take that, and we got some potions that we desperately need, nope, nope, oh wait a minute, actually I do want to go ahead and put on those hide bracers. Um, I guess we could go ahead and put on the amulet, even though we're not really doing magicka. Um, and our steels- oh, wait a minute, they do the same amount of damage. Well, why'd it say- huh, interesting. Oh, and a interesting little tidbit that I learned recently, you might already know this, but I didn't, is that books that are, uh, valued over 50 are actually the skill books. So you see the book here is value 60. Um, anything that's over usually 50 means it's a skill book. So that's a little hot tip if you didn't already know that. I actually, I didn't. Um, I used to just aimlessly open books like, hey, is this a skill book? Is this a skill book? Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna open every book until I get all the skills. Um, but that actually really helps a lot because now I'm not opening books aimlessly because I know that, you know, if it's not over 50, it's not a skill book more than likely. Oh, actually, I took that back. I want this to cut the web. And then we'll switch to our longbow. And wow, this guy is gonna be fun to. You know, we actually might just go ahead and 
just shoot this guy because look at that this is barely doing any damage and I really know oh gosh he dodged that wow um, if he if we go out there we're gonna be slaughtered <laughs> like legit oh you know what I wonder if can you use frostbite venom on frostbite spiders I just want to try you probably can't It doesn't say that it resisted. It looks like it does hurt them. Oh, no, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. You're not going very far, are you? Woo! No, thank you. Oh, and we're hungry. Excuse me, giant spider. I think I need a snack. Do you mind? I see you already have a snack, so I feel like it's only fair. Ooh, you almost got me, but you did it. Riveting gameplay as she hides behind a wall. I mean, don't you feel like they kind of... Ooh, oh my god, you almost got me there, friend. Wow, that's a smart spider. Ugh. Ooh, that was a close one again. I wish we could move faster while we're doing archery, but I mean, I feel like it technically makes, I keep trying to hit it when it does that, but it does, it doesn't work. Um, but I still just, you know, obviously want instant gratification. Wow, that was a great shot. Hashtag usher for life. No, thank you. All right, should we go out and finish it with our sword? Let's see. Oh, look at the damage it did with one hit. That's quite a bit. Yikes. Yeah, I just don't think we would have survived if we went out there and fought it um, directly. And you know what's ironic? I think they definitely put more... I don't even know what, like... They just make that frostbite spider, like, more challenging than pretty much any other frostbite spider you ever come across. I mean, maybe that's incorrect, but that's how it feels for sure. Can I... Yes, thank you. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine. Let me see if I can cut you down. Sweet breath of arcade. Thank you. She should know better, but she doesn't, so she's just going to go ahead and cut him down. Where are you going? Hey! <gasps> oh no! What? Why did you do that? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I used to immediately kill Arvel, um, but then one day, you know, I played this 20 billion times. I was like, I'm just going to let him go. Like, what happens? Um, and... We will find out here soon, if you also have never let Arvel go, what happens to him if you don't just immediately murder him or chase after him and kill him. Alright, so we got some Draugr going on here. Let's go ahead. Uh-oh. Wow, iron armor on that guy? Oh, he woke up our friends. Nice. Thanks a lot, dude. I feel like I'm using archery a lot more. What? That's so cheating. <laughs> I'm using archery a lot more than I actually intended, but. Look at that. Shield bash. Ooh, look at my health. Okay, um, actually we're hungry, so why don't we go ahead and eat? <laughs> oh, now we're well fed already. Okay. Um, I feel like that's the other challenging thing is now, instead of just chowing down on a bunch of food like I normally would do sometimes to, you know, help with my health. Um, I kind of don't want to because, you know, um, I might need that. Whoa, look at that. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know how we are going to survive this. Oh gosh, it would help if I also... And I haven't saved. No, please don't die. 
Because then we're gonna have to do. Oh, fricker fricky. So I just remembered that I should have saved. <laughs> Hindsight. Oh, man. Well, this is what happens when you're playing on Master Difficulty and you are a mediocre gamer. Alright, well, let's go ahead and skip ahead on uh, getting back to where we were before I died. And here we are. Now before we get too busy, <laughs> let's go ahead and save. Alright, and I also think um, he didn't wake them up this time, so that should be in our favor. Yeah, there he is over there. Actually, it looks like he woke up one of them. Let's go ahead and try and hit him with our bow. Okay, get as many shots off as we can, because obviously these guys aren't exactly a joke, and even if I don't want to be a main archery character, it's kind of hard not to embrace it a little bit on Master Difficulty. Um, because, yeah, this is a lot harder. Alright, wow, look at that. Handled so much better the second time around. <laughs> oh, man. But to be fair, he woke them all up, and I don't know, we were just unprepared that time. But we did good this time. That is how every action and occurrence should uh, should go. <laughs> but that's not likely to happen. But hey, whatever. We tried and we got back. No big deal. So let's go ahead. Um, it, I probably will be calling it an end to the episode here soon. Um, and actually I'm going to go ahead and save again because I really don't want to have to keep fighting these guys. We'll maybe just press on a little, a little bit. And then we'll uh, we'll call it an end. Oh wow! Hashtag expert archer. Oh, and this is a restless jogger. Of course it is. Well, we'll go ahead and um, back up here. Oh, and of course he knows magic. Cool. Oh, can we get away from him? Can we not run into stuff? I think we're gonna die. Oh my gosh. Do you ever, like, feel like just everything you're doing isn't working? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm hitting buttons and I'm just, it's not, it's not working. There we go. Nice. Oh, he resisted our venom. Of course he did. Low again. Like, look at this. I don't know how we're going to fight the, the top guy with this. <laughs> Considering we're having to use all of our... Oh, we have no stamina. Cool. Um, I didn't mean to take Magicka. Oh, 
Look at that. Wow, with a split second of health left. Ooh, buddy. That was very, 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 very close. But we did it. We survived. I feel like I deserve a like gold star or something. All right, guys. Well, this is where we're going to go ahead and end our third episode. We've gotten what, roughly halfway into Bleak Falls Barrow, um, maybe a little less than that, but we are on our way to uh, escaping the barrow now that we have the claw and continuing back to Riverwood to return the claw to the Riverwood trader. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, be sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all of our future content we have coming your way. I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.